Okay, this is this. Sometimes I'm, I wish my mum was I'm, like that. I'm glad you both said that, that because your mums are quite different in their yeah. approaches. What do you think are the What do you think were the implications on you knowing that? Good question. If you're in the case that if you did a madness, mm. your mum's not going to to throw you to the wolves. Good or question. that's quite an exaggerated thing. Well, she's not going to turn you in. What were the implications on that to you? And <sighs> I, likewise, I like likewise, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, a, um, <laughs> for me. For a long time, that was how I knew my mum loved me. And I thought that's what love was. When you get into trouble, they're there for you. Mm. I wouldn't know you loved me on a normal day because you wouldn't tell me. And similar to what you were saying about the attention and a child wanting attention. Mm. Sometimes it was like, okay, cool, I'll get in trouble because I knew that's when my mum will come and that's our relationship, that's our bond. So I guess the implication I had was eventually you don't get away with murder, you get into trouble. Mm. And even though your mum's helping you, but when you've been caught and you're seeing the consequences of your actions and the impact it has, you're like, oh, you know what? Even though you're always going to save me, it's my turn to save you by changing my behaviour. So, so you're saying that at some point you're able to make an active decision or you're able to recognise actually, you know what? She shouldn't be protecting me no more. I'm going to now yeah. do the right thing. Because you see the you see the impact that certain things have have on, on your loved ones. What's that saying? Um, when you do something, if you go to jail or whatever, it's, it's, it doesn't just affect you, it affects it's like everybody. Okay. I can't remember the actual quote, mm. but it's like that. When you get into trouble, yeah. when you do something, and there's negative consequences. It doesn't just impact you. Even with your boys, if if your boy does something and you're helping your boy and your boy needs money, that's affecting yeah. you. Your boy needs somewhere to hide, that's affecting yeah. you. Your boy's done a madness and he's calling you. He's now implicating you. Yeah. It, it doesn't just affect you. Nobody deals with anything, anything themselves. Mm. Are you saying that though? I'm a firm believer in karma and the universe. Yeah. So whatever you do is coming back to you. Mm. So yeah, you're helping your daughter. Something's going to happen to her regardless mm. if she gets away with it. Whatever you did, something's going to come back to you tenfold. I'm a, I try and live my life by that mm. because I really believe in that. So. Just to clarify though, you're saying that your realisation came from consequences of your own actions. That's why you then made the decision. Yeah. Actually, my mom protecting me. I need to make it wasn't decisions. always best for me. I needed to start making my own decisions for myself so you, because, so because you, of negative things that happened. Yeah, because one day you stop and you're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this, I've taken it too far mm -hmm. and I'm seeing how it's, it's impacting you. Similar to the conversation we was having off um, camera when, you know, when you realise how tired your mum is mm -hmm. because she's doing everything. You're like, oh, wow, like this really has been impacting you. Like, my bad, let me, let me fix up. Fix up. 